Good day, good day folks. Welcome to another one from the Bushman. Yeah, right now we go in and pick some peas with moti in the garden right across the right yeah, right across the so first things first we go and get a bucket main thing with picking peas and head into the garden so I have something else going on here but um, after picking peas I'll come back and start with this we go in and um, smoke some catfish. I'm going to do the process, the cleaning process from beginning to end till after the catfish done smoke. What salt are using and thing. I don't really use no season and thing. Just clean salt and smoke. Yeah, so nice. I have a fire set up there already so when I come back it's just to start clean and smoke. So, um, so yeah, let me go in the garden right now and see what's going on. I know which corner Moti is right now. There's Moti here, we're going home or what? We're going and look for Moti. Somewhere in the field here. Still have peppers and things to pick here. There we have some peppers to pick here. And some baigana. So anyway, I believe Moti to the far end of the field. So yeah. There we go. Well, bush to chop you here, baby. Can't come in here normal, huh? You gotta come in here with our boots. Yeah. Nice little green peppers there. Yellow peppers here. Yeah, I think I'm gonna pick some and make a little hot sauce. You know? Yeah, we have green ones in this tree. Yeah, I'm gonna pick them peppers before you know they go over ripe and fall off the tree. Look at Moti like he's going home, eh? Seen Moti one. Anyway, folks, I seen Moti. So um, I will my Moti and check it. See, we get five pounds. Let me go in after you. Yeah, we let me go in. Anyway, while I was going, he left Moti coming out on the right here. Moti don't pick he hold there. Half bucket, she got a bucket. So yeah, and the grass wet. Huh? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you pick from the street? Yeah, yeah. See? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you have to feel it? Yeah, boy, this pea is full. Yes, feel it and it is squeezing in at all. Nice, so. Yeah, Lama. Yeah. 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 Huh? Why do look at it? What is that? Oh, we could go so I can't. This this set um the flow. That's it and I know big part is it fun. Anyway folks, the peas in this area, there's no the peas when it's good when you squeeze it and oh, watch squeeze it and it feeling a little soft. Like this one, when you squeeze this one, it is squeezing down. So the peas them big in this one. So we're going on the back way to have better ones. Yeah. So there we go. Yeah. 
Yeah, them shell out all that. Yeah, well, nice. Yeah, over here again, one, one good one, but you have to check now, boy. It has some trees. You pick in peas, but you have to check nothing, it. All is be good. Yeah, but these are, um, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm watching it. You, you just see it, you just see it. If you pick it, drop it on any ground, that one. No, you just see it when you when you squeeze it on your thing, now, boy. You see it looking full. Yeah. Yeah, after I go and clean that catfish and smoke it, I'll leave it all out now. Kinda hard still. Yeah. Yeah, man. It has some tree high. Fall along the ground and thing here, boy. Yeah. Whole handful. Eh? Nice piece. I'm telling you, you know. Huh? I'm telling you, you know, it's just coming. Yeah. I can see you know, I'll get you know. So, go, go check now, go check now. Yeah. That will make me come around, I will stop. Where did you call from? It's a price. She worried free or she pain? I'm worried. <laughs> Shut up, pay. <laughs> the hard work to pick peas, you know, not hard work, but you know, to plant it and let it come like this and thing. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, you pass through that side. Them dry one, then you could, them could plant it? Yeah. Yeah, I see the plant. all over here. Leaving the bush in the peas field, there's cool the root and kind of way and have it bearing good too. So don't clean your peas field too often. Nice, so we're going on to the end. Yeah. So if you say down to the end or some nicer one. Nice or nicer. Yeah. These flowers. So nice, we can check out this grub here. We might get some good one in this grub. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. So we come upon the most leaded peace tree in the field here on touch yeah he's like wow in this street so we tackle this street here yeah Huh? Yeah, boy. A lot of 
arată că la industrie am pic. Și la vor 10 feet tall. Comment below, what is with the piece? Nick Pilau, put in soup, Nick Peace Puri, what is Cookie Peace? Lemon. Yeah, folks, I'm doing all these kind of activities is just to relax the mind and thing, eh? It's a relaxing thing, picking peas. I didn't, I didn't know it was so relaxing until I started doing it with Moti. We have a tree here, throwing out flowers. It has big peas in it. It has peas in it too. Like these peas might take about uh, two weeks. I don't know how long it is take from flowers to full peas. Yeah, it will take that time. Yeah, that way. So I believe there's all the peas in the field right now, so we'll have to come back another day. Like get the young, the one way you need halfway full, give them a few days or a week again. So we get about a half bucket a day, so nice. We go and tend to them catfish now, clean it up, salt it and smoke it. So nice. So we go and pick some of the peppers that I saw earlier on. Yeah. Peppers, but need peas. How many peas they get hot? Yeah. Nice pepper hiding down the hole here. See? Hey. Yeah. Huh? So we, to, we come back to picking the pepper, we don't pick peas. We have to search for them pepper in the bush. See where them pepper is? Hide up between the bush. Yeah. Now we have to be careful you pick up pepper and it's soft and it's squeeze and burst in your hand. Eh? <laughs> and if you rub it in your face, your nose, you're in trouble. Like one burst in my hand eh? and it's smelling hot, so I have to be careful. Yeah. Anyway, let me search for that pepper now. I believe this is the last bit of pepper in this little field here. And look here, we have some here. One here, green one, ripe one. Alright, this area we get a good bit. We get three from this tree right here. One, two. Three from there. We we'll take one from here. Hey, look, down the back here, man. One, two, three. Pick some green ones too to mix it in. Yeah. Okay, so a different brand here. They kind of purplish by the stem. Yeah. See, it kind of purplish by the stem. 
But I believe all is um habanero. Yeah. Ah yeah, yeah, I yeah. see a yeah. nice red one at the stand. Rosy nice red pepper. Check it out. Here we are. Mm. We get through here in this tree. Some nice yellow one hiding up here. Yeah. Check this. Beautiful. Yeah. Nice, so let me move along. Hey, almost miss you. Nice, we're moving again, we're moving again. I'm to go and wash my hands good when I reach home. Because I feel like pepper boots in my hand in the beginning. Yes, sir. Nice red that one here, one pepper in this tree. Yes sir. Nice, so let me move along. One yellow one in this tree here. Yeah. Yeah, some hiding here. Green ones, some full green ones. We gotta take them green one too. We gotta make a nice bottle of homemade chunky hot sauce. Hey, we are Mr. Baigan here by itself, boy. We gotta take that baigan, we gotta make a choker with that later. Hey, look what's going on down the hole here. Check that BBD. Yeah. Next one on the back here. Yeah, we got a tree right here. And we got piss, we got pick Mr. Baigan. We got make a roast Baigan choke or put that to take me some sauce. Yeah, Very nice. Hey. Oh la, that one rotten. Hey, Moti make it back in front before me. Yeah. Anyway, we get through here. Leave this later on, I'll come and pick some sorrel and um, put it to boil. It had a time I boiled some sorrel, boy, and the wood smoking like, hmm, real smoking, and the sorrel come out bad. I had to throw it away. Yeah. Hey. Look how the bucket looking the nice and colorful. Yeah. This peas, pepper, bygan, guava. The full works. Right, it's a multi head and home day. Nice. We are, we are adventure girl baby puppy here. Cute little man. <laughs> yeah. Right, yeah. Yeah, we'll peel it, right? Okay, it inside and separate it. Look how nice it's looking. Guava. Guava. Mm -hmm. Guava, shell peas, put away the pepper. Oh, no, put put away the bag. Yeah, yeah. This is peas. Yeah. That is peas? Peas and radish. Yeah, adventure baby. Do some planting. And it's a pepper inside it, but I don't know what part it is. Yeah. This is radish and this peas. Yeah. Nice, so we're going to deal with our catfish you now. Nice folks, so I know I do a vlog on the um, cleaning and I know I do a vlog on the cleaning and preparing and smoking of the catfish a few months ago, sometime last year. But I go do our next one, it's for the new viewers. Then, so you know, sometimes the new viewers wouldn't go back in the channel and check out the old videos. So, this is our updated video of the catfish cleaning and smoking. Nice. 
So to clean the catfish, all you have to do is cut behind the head here. Yeah, cut there. Cut there. Cut out the head. Now when you're smoking catfish, you don't need to cut out no fins, right? All you have to do is watch, watch proper, watch carefully. Take the Chinese chopper and cut down the back on, on this at the side of the center bone. And just cut down the back. Yeah, cut down the back. Nice, so this this way you can end up with catfish, cut down the back, leave the belly, and you'll get something looking like salt fish. But remember it's not salt fish, they are healthier way to do fish. Remember when you salt fish and put this on that salt soaking and when you boil it, all that salt will come out. So this egg will not have much salt. It's a little pinch. Nice and dicey. Yeah? So we go and salt this and then put it to smoke in a bit. So stay tuned. Nice. So we're coming offline now. We're going to do the rest, about three more. And then we go charge up the fire. Nice, folks. So this is where we end up with. This is the four catfish that I catch in Felicity River. They are. Um, tap on, cut my finger. And yeah, this is how it is be when you're done um, clean it and open it. Yeah? Nice. Anyway, we have some small fish there from another catch. We go and do something with that too. But we go and just salt this fish and put it to smoke. We can put a little extra seasoning in there. So nice. Nice folks. So we can use the knife set that Miss Hanifa brought for me a while ago. The knife set. We want the cutting board. We get four in this so we can use it. We put an arm. We go and smoke the catfish with only salt and we go and I wouldn't say roast, steam the fish in a little fig leaf and foil with a little ingredients there, you know. And yeah, so we go and charge up the fire. Now. So we can just add some salt in the catfish here, salt it up. Salt up the catfish. Mix it up and put it aside to smoke. Right, so that catfish don't pick here for smoking there, right? Nice. Right, so we can season up this with a little niceness. And put this to roast the steam one time. We got a little season, you could add anything you want to add to it. So we're gonna add some secret blend here to this fish. Not much we want to overpower the taste of the um, fish now. That we add a little bit of this lemon pepper. Right, and that is about it. Or oh, add a little pinch of salt. Now I had no salt. Them season already has salt a bit. Oh, this other pinch. Very little salt. Nice. Then we go cut up a little onion here. Oh, this knife sharp boy. Yeah, this is your knife that I get from Hanifa. I know if I mentioned that already. Ooh. Yeah, what your finger getting in the way of this knife now? <laughs> knife cutting like butter in hot sauna. Yeah. Woo! Yeah, boy. For real. Hmm. I'll free this knife. See 
to yes. No force. I think it'll stay sharp so for a long time, but hmm. taking some real rest with this knife here. So we could just add the onions there. Then we got mince up our garlic. Mince up this garlic here. Inside here. I can't play no best cook and put my finger close to the blade now. Mince up the garlic. Add it in. A little pimento on the side here. Everything going in here, seed everything on. Pimento, we got pal tomato. Still had to go in the field and see if I got okra. Without okra, I feel that the vibe is gonna be complete now. Eh? like a kind of broth I'm making here a steam broth mm -hmm. a little pepper I want to put the seed in this because adventure will be my cry adventure will my cry nice so there we go we still have to do the carrot and some potato Nice, so let me get to it. We are going to put this whole piece of carrot. It's a slight scrape. Yeah, slight scrape. A little cut up like this, you're cutting around these sides, kind of chunky. Yeah, nice. Right, and there we have it. We go and pick our okra. Probably inside here. So we can be. We go and cut up the arm. Like a smaller knife for the arm. Potato. We go peel the potato. Nice, so let me get to this and we'll come back in a bit. Lovely. Nice, so we give it fire light in there. It's just to add the coconut shell, that is some bamboo. Bamboo go to roast fish and smoke fish. Out. Add the coconut shells and there we go, move from there. Nice, we coconut shell light up and smoke in the by time, so yeah. So while that's fire charging up, we're gonna get some okra across by most of Nice folks, and it's a long time I come by these okra trees. I hope I get at least two okra. Yeah. As we say, we need to come and pick some sorrel in our time. 
Yeah, so I see no crows but they're full. Hey, again them will probably be failure today. Yeah, dove now fly away. Oh no. Oh crow and strike tree down there. Ah uh, well I guess I'm not gonna be putting no okra in that. Yeah. No okra tree gone through. Come on man, at least one okra to put in the um in the mix. Full okra. Alright, we're not going to be having no okra in this. Uh, Alright, well, let me head back. We are two friends here with me. Hello. They're always following me all over. Yeah. I believe we have some trees in the end there. I'll go and check them trees. If I get there, well. Hey! Today is my lucky day, man. It's one small okra. One small okra. Let's see if we get another one. Um, nah, no more okra, only one. Only one okra. Yeah. Anyway, let me get back there and organize up that. Alright folks, so one thing I learned is that you do really supposed to put the pear fish on the foil. So I like use fig leaf, coconut leaf, some kind of leaf. Yeah. So first things first, we get the coconut leaf. Side, the one we foil, was all big we wanted. But at the, the then we are cut the coconut leaf the size to fit inside here. Eh? So I think this size will be good. Okay. If one piece is good enough. Now you cut the next side. Cut this next side to suit. So yeah. So nice. There we go. Perfect. All right. So we're gonna do all this while we fish here. One fish. Two fish. Three fish and the small ones. Nice. So it's really a kind of steaming going to take place inside our foil. Eh? All your niceness inside. Eh? You could add whatever vegetables or whatever you want. Let the potato go in between so you got well, it's supposed to put ice inside here. Eh? So yeah, while the ice is melting, you can make the sauce to steam the fish. Yeah. Nice, so get it out of there. Take all this ends because we had a. Um, we'll bring it in because we had a. Um, fold the ends. We had a fold the ends after. And for the next layer of foil. Right? Nice, so. Yeah, next layer, same size. The same size, we cut out. And do your thing here. Put it in the pull here to them. Pull it up one big so it's a little hard to handle. Eh? So nice, we don't get a grill. Uh, 
and rest the grill on a um, get your grill charge back up the fire Add a few coconut shell and the fire chop, right? Coffee grill. Coffee grill and add the kind of easy to handle because the coconut shell kind of have it still. Coconut leaf. Right, so we're going to add the thing. Folks, so you memory card full in this camera. I have a big memory card in that camera, it's full only half an hour. But, um, we can use the phone for the rest. Nice thanks to Benny and family for this Canon camera. Yeah, top of top, working good. I'm a, I go master it soon. Anyway, we have the fish this steaming in the foil. You know, after a while, you boil a little hole and throw a little water to continue steaming because everything will dry out soon in a bit. Yeah, so nice. And we have a catfish here. After we got smoke, we catfish. Pour up we catfish to smoke when that done cook. We have a catfish. They, oh, I forget my okra. I had one okra here to put in, but I forget. Anyway, we chip up that raw day after. Nice. What's your going on there? Lovely. Nice. So at this time, I hear any crackling inside here, and I do the foil. Get out of what is inside, they get dry and you know, the foil sort of burn, so burst a hole on top and you add a little water to continue the steering process. If you want it dry, add in less water. If you want it with a little sauce, kind of brothy vibes, add in a little more water. And air yeah, we've doctored this in there, we cut a hole and we slide in the okra, so no worries at all. And we get into here. Just the spice back up the fire a bit. The fire died on. And it's smoking. That is, the, that is where we want for the catfish. Just red hot heat and slight smoke. So nice. Get that song there. Yes, sir. We gain a reaction going on inside that. Inside it. Nice. So anyway, we go come back on nice. that. So I, so I believe we almost finished there. Remember, the fish wouldn't take long to cook. Say about five to ten minutes is the potato inside we might need the cooking so that's why i had to leave it for about 20 minutes yeah what well, the potato cook good now so it's dripping out right wrong yeah oh and the cup on top there is to cover the arm hole that i make to put in the water and the okra you know so the steam could be could get trapped inside the and the process could, uh, it's going to be um, the uh, cooking process. Yeah. Nice, so we steam fishing, foil, foil broth, I don't know what to call it now. Nah. It's done, so we go down in a bit. So right now we fire just nice and properly, so we can just rest them salted catfish on top of the fire there. We will just rest them and let us smoke away, just like that. Yeah, just rest them and let us smoke away. Take the time and smoke away. I want no fire. Yeah, I want no fire for this. Nice. We just want the heat and the smoke for this. So, anyway, yeah, let me open this and see what's going on. Sample it and see what's going on. Here we fork here. Open up one side. Nice. Ah, look what's going on there. Ah, let's see if everything cook. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I put it on the end and top cook. Mm hmm Yeah, man. Everything cook. Mm-hmm. Fish surely cook. 
one way to find out if fish cook see the eyeball them turn white the eyeball them turn white yeah cook a few of the potato are a little extra cooking but that is small thing we go work with that so yeah that is we there yeah nice yeah and we have a catfish smoking there nice so why is the coconut shell burning out we add a little coconut shell upside down to produce smoke yeah upside down to produce this smoke so um yeah them catfish smoking nice see the catfish leg going something there through the skin nah, you know it's that oil or something but anyway the niceness, like niceness adventure you see niceness coming through the skin nice so while we um beating on that day we got deal with this here ay 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 the car going on there okay. yeah we got deal with that day mm -hmm. Lovely. Mm -hmm. Inexpensive meal. Mm -hmm. Nice. So anyway, we are coming back on a bit when the cat must finish. Roast and fill the text and then we go end this vlog. So nice yeah. folks. So we don't um eat up that day and we just to check we catfish here to see how we're doing um sometimes it'll stick up on the arm grill yeah sometimes it'll stick up on the grill and you gotta get a little something that stick it off yeah like one part i like when you stick up on the grill sometimes you will stick it out like this and it bursting up yeah, but I think I'll get through this one here. Yes. Here yeah, we get through, man. This one has to stick up. Huh. Smoke, huh? This one looking like a rose. But anyway, that is how it had to be. Right, so let's continue to get the smoke and the heat now. Yeah, almost done. You know, when I finish, you could pour with that, put that in a Ziploc bag, put it in your fridge. Oh, you can eat it now. And um, use it as salt fish. You know, you could buff it up with a little um, carrots, cabbage, celery, say, pimento, onion, tomato sweet pepper buff it up and eat it with fry bake hop slice bread or whatever and if you want to make it into a saucy dish put some water and like cook down with some sauce and eat it with dumpling or provision nice yeah nice folks so so we as we um catfish day it was bigger but it shrink I find, and get small but anyway all the juice dry out it smoke nice and proper there just to pour away and as i say a while ago um how to use it so yeah nice man so that is the day so anyway hope you all enjoyed that little session day with me and moti in the garden picking peas and the process and cleaning the catfish cutting it to get like the butterfly shape this and that, the little steam fish, steam fish broth in the foil, coconut leaf and stuff. So anyway, folks, yeah, over and out. I wouldn't say over and out. I would say over because I again out of here. Anyway, see you all in the next one. Yeah.